The Hayden Kirk Linear Actuator portfolio includes a lot of different standard building block items. Uh, for your inexpensive but robust solution, you've got a can stack style actuator. You've also got what we call the hybrid platform, which is a higher, higher efficiency, higher force output, um, smaller step angle, so you get a tighter resolution. Um, and those can be customized in a number of ways. From the electrical point of view, uh, we mentioned connectors a little bit, but you can also do different voltages. Um, so for a motor this size, depending on what you have available for uh, power and uh, voltage in your assembly, we can do anywhere from two volt windings up to a 24 volt winding. Uh, for some other actuators that range a little different, uh, for a size eight, it might be two and a half to seven and a half volts. Um, other winding options include high temperature winding. So if you have a high ambient temperature or if you really need to overdrive the actuator to get more performance out of it, uh, we can do a class F winding, which will allow that to operate up to 155 degrees C. Uh, whereas the standard's 130 degrees C. Uh, we can also look at different feedback solutions. So we can have proximity sensors, uh, encoders, different, different types of encoders, uh, optical, magnetic. Uh, we could also do some actuators were highly customized with a bellow assembly, uh, custom machine components out of specific materials, and in a clean assembly uh, for low outgassing environments. Uh, to fully housed actuator. So you've got an encoder on the back with a thumb wheel, a full housing on the front side. Uh, so really a wide range of different things that we can customize. Here's an example of a relatively standard uh, captive size eight actuator. Um, this is something that's been highly customized. In this case, uh, it's what we call a cleaned actuator. Normally wouldn't be handling it with, in your bare hands uh, as a clean assembly. Uh, but we've got a custom machined uh, 400 series stainless steel mounting flange, a Viton bellows for low outgassing, a hardened adapter uh, to limit any wear. We've also got an integrated connector assembly built into the rear of it. All these uh, were, were done while also keeping outgassing to a minimum. From the can stack point of view, there's a number of, of applications where we've integrated connectors directly into uh, the motor assembly. So in this case, the connectors on the back, um, another one where it's a sealed connector uh, integrated with the motor. Uh, and in case where we've also included bellows for air valves, water valves, things like that. Uh, very common customizations. A lot of different uh, manufacturers out there offer standard actuator systems. Uh, in this case, working with Hayden Kirk Pittman, we're able to customize in a number of ways. Um, that might be custom injection molded parts to house the actuator, wire and cable assemblies, uh, over molding, custom adapters onto the lead screws, you know, machining custom adapters, allowing us to basically provide all that customization in our unit so you basically get it and build it into your system. Whether it's you know, fully built up with you know, bushings and mounting, spring posts for pins, custom mounting assemblies, a roller bearing on the front, uh, whatever it takes, we can integrate that into our actuator. Uh, mechanically, electrically, feedback-wise, we've got encoders, proximity sensors, a uh, full range of options that allow you to customize it.